Hello everyone, and welcome to the P-70 Night Fighter. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> Check this out. So they just updated the game. Sadly, it is the final update for the entire of Battlefield 5. But they've introduced, just out of nowhere, four new planes for the Americans. Like, I'm guessing these were in development before they decided they weren't really going to continue <laughs> to, like, maintain this game. But these look badass. I mean, there's also the P-51. There's the A-20 Night Fighter, which I'm flying now. There's also just a standard A-20. Uh, and there's a P-51K. So there's a P-51K and a P-51D. I don't really know in, in real life what the differences are there. But check this out. This one looks badass. It's got wing-mounted rockets on the side, and they look funny, like something we've never seen before. Let's see if I can find a tank target to try and shoot it at them. I just like looking at myself, to be honest. I don't really want to fight the enemy. <laughs> just let me admire myself. Stop shooting your AA guns at me, dude. Alright, we better actually try and stay alive. I really want to make this into something. Uh, had to use my emergency repairs. Okay, let's get the repairs and try and use our rockets on that AA gun. Now, why do they call this the Night Fighter, and why is there another variant called just the standard A-20? I do wonder. So, what have we got in the cockpit? Nothing that suggests that I'm fighting in the night. Really. Uh, I don't know where the AA gun was there. We got him. We got the AA gun, and now there's another one. Two AA guns. Uh, what was that? What makes this the Night Fighter? That's what I'm wondering. I don't actually know what my guns are. Should try one of the other kits. So we've also got... So let's see, what's this Night Fighter all about? The P-17 Night Fighter. Oh, I was calling the A-20. No, I was getting confused. That's the A-20. <laughs> this is the P-70. Night Fighter, very cool. So... I was using four heavy machine guns. No wonder I was so effective. As we know from the Pacific Theatre, heavy machine guns are no joke. Maybe that really ruins the balance against Germany. I could have chosen down to the 2 times 20 mil cannons, but what, I, what we learned from the Pacific Theatre is you don't really want to invest in that. It means nothing. So what do we want to aim for? Manual supercharger is definitely worthy. 2 times 20 millimeter anti-tank armor piercing rounds. I want to try that. So I'm definitely upgrading down to the left here. Uh, two times LMG rearward firing. Okay, so that's good for the back seat if you've got a, a friend in the back. They've even included... Wait, glide bomber? But these are bat glide bombers. Are they... Is this ASM N2 bomb? Is that the same glide bomber model that we had in the Pacific Theater, I wonder? So I'd be tempted to go down here and then to the right to try that out. Although you'd be missing out on these 12 times M8 rockets if I do that. Four M10 triple tube rocket launches for M8 rockets. Okay, interesting. So that's really a tough decision whether to go right for the glide bomber or left for the rockets. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Surprisingly, level six and five is a waste of time. Although spotting scope could be cool, could be cool. Radar package, if you're going for air-to-air, -air, I guess, being a night fighter, I think this may have been designed for air-to-air. -air. So we've got the A-20 bomber as well. Now, what really stands out about this? Let's see. We've got the classic Pacific Theater 20mm high explosive cannons times four. Definitely a worthy weapon to have on board. High altitude package, as we know lately from the last video, this is extremely useful. So that is a real tough decision here. I don't know what I'd choose. We've also got... Uh, a t two 1,000 pound bombs. Okay, that is no joke. <laughs> that is going to be absolutely no joke. Four 500 pound bombs. This is going to be very formidable. And what is that? Four power frag bombs, AN M40 fragmentation bombs for low flying bombing. Interesting. I'm guessing that's some kind of anti infantry along with incendiary bombs on the right. Yeah, so the, really the thing you want to try is get. You want to try and get the two times thousand pounds, I reckon. And maybe you want to... To be honest, that's it. High altitude package and then go down to the left of the two thousand pound bombs. That's what I would do. And then get check out these power frags. See what they're about. Then you got the P-51D and the P-51K. 
Very interesting. Very cool. Classic fighter planes, am I right? What have we got? We've got 20 more high explosives. High altitude. Looks pretty similar to the A20. With the dive brakes as well. Interesting. What about this P51D? What's of interest here? Two times HMG no traces. So you can go for stealth stealth rounds. That's actually interesting. I'd be tempted to try that as my first loadout. And then you've even got these new MH rockets. And you've got the classic Pacific Theater 3.5 inch rockets as well. Yeah, obviously you want to try the new ones, right? Actually, those rockets mounted on the wings, they, those pods, they really remind me of War Thunder. And then we've got yeah, that's pretty much it. Interesting. I've got some unlocking to do, gents. Okay. I don't know. I've got some unlocking to do. Let's fly some more with... What was it called? The P-70 Night Fighter? I forget. It's actually quite nimble. And I love the design. How it's like a V-shaped design. Really emphasizes the V. Really looks cool and nimble. Like, I feel like I'm pulling up really sharply here. Let's see what we've got down on the ground. Nothing. I don't know how to find enemies on this map. I never really gave this map a chance. Not just that, it's Conquest. I'm not a fan of Conquest in any map. And I'm getting harassed by AA. Let's see if I can shoot him out of range. Come on, keep shooting at me, AA. Come on, dude. Where was he? Oh, 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 okay, there. We got an... Oh, we got the Werble Wind. Let's get closer. Okay, I unloaded all six rockets. Vehicle hit 90. That is impressive. We can actually get the kill now. If we can get the resupply and come full circle here. Come on. Come on, before he, before he repairs. Let's do this. Reload faster, reload faster. Where is he? He was somewhere up there, right? Yeah, I can see the smoke. Not now, enemy fighter plane. Leave me alone, BF-109. I expected him to be in the smoke somewhere. I can't jump seat. How do I jump seat? Is there not a back seat gunner? I thought there was a back seat. I can't switch seats. Don't tell me you forgot to enable that feature dice. <laughs> Why couldn't I switch seats? Come on, man. I was pressing F2. I know I haven't played Battlefield in a while. I'm pretty sure you have to press F2 to go to the second seat. Okay, we're back in the air. I've really got to unlock this thing. And I really need to get my kills. To be honest, we've got the heavy machine gun. I'm going to be very effective at air-to-air. -air. This is just frustrating, man. What am I going to do? Well, I'm just going to kill him. And just clip the tree. And everything's going to be okay, everyone. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Enemy AA down. No, is he going to turn toward me? Let's go for that BF-109. We're hunting him now. We're going for air superiority. Let's do this. Those rockets are really effective at anti-air, stationary targets, possibly going to be really good at infantry. Can't wait to find out. Now, I'm in a turn fight here with the BF-109. I'm not going to be performing too well here if he's got any competency. Looks like I got away with it. He's right there on fire. Oh, enemy crashed, but thanks to the, one of the latest updates, I still got the kill. He sprayed me with the rockets there. Well played, dude. It's really awkward. Some These new planes have been introduced, but they didn't want to introduce them into the Pacific Theater, so they forced the Americans onto these legacy maps. And uh, it seems like they only half implemented it because some sometimes I'm going to these maps and sometimes I'm seeing the British faction instead of the Americans, so I don't know what is going on here. It was really a bit flaky, Dice. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. But let's try it again. Should we try the A20 bomber though? No, I really want to go for air to air though. Should we try the P51D? All right, let's try the P51D. Oh, that sound. Listen to the sound from the third person. That is nice. Very nice. We're going for some air superiority here. Let's do this. This should be much more nimble than the P70. What have I got? I, I wish I remembered what I've got. Are they heavy machine guns, light machine guns? Vehicle hit 23. He's deploying the smokes. Not that that really matters. In this situation, it's three on one. This poor guy. 
Uh, let's get him. It may be a while, but I really need the kills. I really need to rank up. Okay, I'm going to go for this one. I think he's the better pilot. What have I got? I've got rockets. Maybe I can shoot a volley of rockets at him first. Yeah, I hit one for vehicle hit nine. Those rockets are pants, dude. Let's help my wingman. Let's kill him. Come on, vehicle hit 26. This is not easy. That was a nice view from the cockpit. It did help tracking as well. I've got to remember to stay in the first person view with the cockpit to keep maintain tracking. Not as successful as third person. Alright, what was that that just went in the air? Oh, an enemy Yonkers 88. These Germans in Battlefield 5. They're not used to P-51Ds. They're like, who are these guys who've entered the war? Oh, that's right. Japan bombed us at Pearl Harbor and we had a big fight over the Pacific Theater and hello. <laughs> Say hello to us. How you doing, Germany? They're like, who are these guys, man? What is this technology in the air? All right, let's get the Stuka. He's pulling back on the throttle. Don't do it, Stuka. Just let me have you. Come on, dude. Really? I didn't get him? Someone took the kill with the anti-air gun. And sadly, we're about to cross over anti-air line of sight. Wow. Nice shot. Very nice shot. It's the end of the game, but let's quickly see the A20. Oh, look at it. It is sexy. And I can jump seat in this one. So maybe it was just a temporary glitch on the other one. We've got the four 250-pound bombs here. And it's the end of the game. Couldn't really try out every plane. Man, there is some unlocking to do. What do you guys think? Is this enough to revitalize the vehicle gameplay in this game? <laughs> is it a good enough send off for the game as its final update what do you guys think let me know in the comments oh yeah we've also got to do a lot of upgrading as well so yeah at least i've got some upcoming videos to give you guys that'll be interesting and i'll see you next time peace